Hi, welcome to Australia's Best Hybrid 2024, sponsored by Tough Dog Four Wheel Drive Suspension. This is the first event of its type. There's heaps of hybrids here on show. Behind me is the Swag Generation 6 16 footer. It's loaded with features. Let's go inside and have a look. It's a traditional 16 footer with a pop top and a north south bed. I like the construction method. It's a full composite van, which is two fiberglass sheets outside our core of uh, foam. Very efficient in uh, its thermal properties. Very strong and easy to use if you've got the production uh, sorted out properly. It's the sort of construction that a lot of premier Australian vans have moved to. So underneath there's a honeycomb floor over a steel chassis, independent suspension, and they're using Australian made shock absorbers to boost the durability and the ride. The chassis might be a bit unusual for an imported van in as much as it's got Australian certified engineering behind it, which should mean that it's gonna last for a long, long while. A lot of the innovation in swag hybrids flies under the radar because people just label them as another imported camper. But look a bit closer and there's a really big point of difference in the construction methodology. They use a properly frameless 30 mil wall and roof system with a honeycomb floor, which is really good from an insulation point of view, both from sound and heat. It also has less gaps in it, less holes, less chances for water to come in. It's by far my favorite way of building a trailer. The Swag Generation 6 is a couples van and one of its target markets is couples who are downsizing from bigger, heavier vans. So they're looking for something that's lighter, nimbler, easier to maneuver, and it's also easy to use. And the Swag has that in spades, especially when it comes to its self-sufficiency. Two 150 watt solar panels, and there's both internal and external fridges, and a battery management system to operate those appliances. A very simple system and easy to use, which is very appealing to a lot of people. Two kitchens, uh, both an internal and external kitchen, and plenty of bench space uh, and cupboard space that you could easily use that as your internal kitchen. Livability in the swag is hard to beat. It is only a couple's van. You can option it with some bunks. At 16 feet long, it's a manageable size, yet it has a full width ensuite with separate shower and toilet. It's not the most spacious ensuite, but again, it's only a 16 foot trailer, so there is always going to be compromise. That aside, it does leave a lot of room under the awning and inside the annex if you set it up for a lot of area to sit on a picnic blanket or set up a table and chairs or even set up a swag for a slightly more grown up kid or good friend. From a livability point of view, it is actually really well thought out. Swag is quite an easy tying proposition. With an ATM of 2,800 kilos, owners need to be careful with the ball weight. It has quite a high ball weight, particularly as a lot of items are actually forward of the axle. I think what I liked about this Swag arrangement was the caravan-like layout. It's fairly simple, but it has features like a full width bathroom, which makes that easy to use. Uh, it has a large bed at the front and that is easy to get in and out of and there's a decent amount of seating. The other feature I like was the fact that the seating can be extended because the bed, part of the bed can be folded up and a seat created. So there's, there's plenty of room to be seated quite comfortably. The main feature for me I think was uh, the uh, fold out lounge from the bed makes the interior much more accommodating and much more welcoming. I think the outside is also pretty usable. The kitchen it's got everything that you need. One thing I didn't really like was the height of the latches for the pop top. I think even Tim had trouble reaching them, so a normal person would find it difficult. The thing I like about that lounge, I know I mentioned it, but the thing I like about it is it's, it, you, have, you don't see it anywhere else and it's so simple. It's part of the mattress that falls back uh, and it creates a really good environment. It's really comfortable and it's very usable. There's a number of contributing factors to the X factor of the swag and one of those, of course, is its frameless composite construction. It's the type of construction that we see in high-end expensive caravans, but we're starting to see it more now in this um, price bracket at this level of vans. It has a full width um, ensuite, a split ensuite, so the, the shower separate from the, from the toilet and the vanity, which I think will appeal to a lot of people. 
The one thing that I did really like about the swag was um, its, its additional lounge. You can fold up the end of the king size bed and create another lounge. So if you wanted to settle in for the night and watch television or play a card game, there's plenty of room for four people to do that. At $72,000, the Swag Hybrid is certainly the most expensive of the Chinese built hybrids. It's certainly packed with features. In, so, in many ways, this, this sort of caravan I think would suit downsizers. People who are used to a full van might want all the features that they have in their van, but want to downsize a bit. And that's why I think this hybrid makes good value. It has quite a comfortable layout and yet is a smaller van for towing. Common to most campers or hybrids in its class, it comes with a five year warranty on the chassis only and a 12 month standard warranty, plus OE warranties for things like the fridge, air conditioner and the battery. All of the components are very well supported and they're locally sourced. One thing to note is you do need to keep up your service schedule, especially for the bearings for your warranties to apply. I really like the swag, I can't deny it. The way that it's been built is my favorite construction methodology, especially for harsh climates in Australia. If you're considering a comfortable hybrid, you can't go past the swag.